UW360 is proudly supported by BECU, a not-for-profit, member-owned credit union. Pacific Office Automation, copy, print, workflow, and IT, problem solved. From spring through fall, an historic icon on the university campus opens its dome and its doors to the public. The sun is inflated and placed in the center of the solar system for a tour of the planets. Every time we do that, I, here comes the sun, go through my, <laughs> go through my head. Ana Larson, a senior lecturer in astronomy at the university, readies star charts, telescope kits, and refracting glasses, while an army of volunteers prepares to share their passion for the cosmos with the community. When a young kid puts their eye to the eyepiece for the first time and says, wow, it gives me cold chills. Whoa. That's awesome. It's open house night at the Jacobson Observatory, the second oldest building on campus, home to a telescope that's just shy of 120 years old. And twice a month, spring through fall, it's the center of community outreach to the stars. The Jacobson Observatory has been here on the University of Washington campus since 1895. The historic dome and telescope are big draws during the open house event, but believe it or not, the observatory was once shuttered and faced demolition and the alumni heard that the facilities department wanted to tear this place down, the alumni got up in arms and said, you can't tear it down. So the facilities said, well, what are we going to do? So they went to the astronomy department and said, can you do something with the facility? Ana and student volunteers from the astronomy department hauled truckloads of garbage from the observatory, painted it, and reopened its doors in 2001. The telescope itself was cleaned and rebuilt by a member of the Seattle Astronomical Society. Members of the society are on hand during public events to answer questions and show off an observatory from a bygone era. It's totally not electrical, it's totally mechanical. The largely wooden dome is rotated and opened by pulling on ropes. It rides on three large ball bearings the size of cannonballs. The telescope tracks across the sky by way of weight-driven gears. It's the only observatory, certainly in the Western United States, that still has its original six-inch telescope that is in operation, that's on its original mount and its original housing and everything. So that makes it unique. While the telescope and dome draw the adults and the occasional aspiring astronaut, open house nights are all about the stars. If it's cloudy, volunteers give talks and answer questions. But if it's clear, volunteers from the university's astronomy program set up telescopes. By going like that, this is the eyepiece. Other volunteers, including aspiring astronomer Liv Humes, hand out refracting glasses, kits for sky charts, and easy to assemble telescopes. How can you focus it? This one, honey. The whole thing. Yeah. Oh, ah. Sorry. <laughs> from there, it's a night of discovery for adults and kids and a night of inspiration for the volunteers. See it? That's mine. Cool. Why is it important to know our place in the universe? And the one in the tree branches is right in there? Yeah. That's Altair. It gives you the whole frame of reference for your entire life. Excellent. Oh my gosh, it's so bright. And it's just a beautiful planet. And we just realize how really small we are. <laughs> 